Thank you, Mr. Crow. Like any event, the game ultimately ends. And throughout the game, there's mistakes that are usually made on both sides, but in the end, there is a winner and a loser. I define winner and loser as the outcomes being better than expected or the outcomes being worse than expected, and that's how I give that definition, and I think it's quantifiable. This resulted in a loss. Outcomes worse than expected, immeasurably worse than expected for not just what was the moment, certainly to this moment and likely for at least a generation to come. And that happened because of, of abandonment and ignorance, ignoring reconnaissance, intelligence, surveillance at a, at a basic level, just looking. And just to look, you had to willfully ignore what was taking place to get to the, the loss, the worst expectations or the, the worst outcomes compared to what could have been expected, you had to willfully ignore what was taking place on the ground. And you had to abandon the people on the ground in order to reach what the administration wanted to reach, which is what they announced on the go to zero day. September 11 withdraw, political withdraw date, political celebration withdraw date. Let's reach a day that's an anniversary of the 9-11 attacks and make that our withdraw day, no matter what. No matter what, we're going to do this. Doesn't matter if we ignore how many uh, special immigrant visas need to be issued and if those people won't be able to get the documentation that they need because there's no Americans on the ground. Doesn't matter how many provinces are being taken over. Doesn't matter the Taliban advancement. Doesn't matter if we have to leave these air bases and retreat to another one. Doesn't matter if we have to call on an unnumbered amount of civilians not working for the State Department or the Department of Defense to come in and help get people out. Definitely not a part of any plan. Doesn't matter what has to happen. We're going to abandon. We're going to ignore in order to get to the political outcome that we desire. That resulted in a loss. Outcome worse than expectations. I thank you all for you. your testimony your eyewitness accounts, your firsthand accounts, sharing your heart about how you felt about the situation at the time, rehashing that. It's of great value to each and every one of us on both sides of the aisle. Members of the subcommittee may have some additional questions for each and every one of you. I hope that you'll respond to those in writing. Pursuant to committee rules, all members may have five days to submit those statements, questions, and extraneous materials for the record subject to the length limitations, and without objection, this committee stands adjourned. Thank you.